Okay. So hello everyone, my name is Shauna and this is an adaptive chair yoga class from, from adaptiveadventures.org. And you can find more about their uh, organization that provides all sorts of programs, adaptive programs across the country at adaptiveadventures.org. All right, so today I'm ready to start if you are. So we'll be, this is the fourth week of the month and the fourth week I include just a few cues for moving legs and that's completely optional. So sort of trying to provide a wide range of options for a variety of participants. We'll start with our arms. So let's just bring the arms to the shoulders here. Now, as always, movements can be small or large and you'll determine your own range of motion and you want to stay within your comfort zone. So we're going to start really little, just lift the elbows up a little, take them down a little, and begin to coordinate your breathing with this. So when you lift your elbows up, try and take a long, slow inhale. And when you lower your elbows, that's the exhale. Now you can begin to make these motions a little bit bigger. And inhaling up, feeling the ribs lift. And then when you exhale, feeling the ribs lower. Let's just do a few more like that. You can exhale out the mouth and inhale through the nose. See if that helps you lengthen the breath. And let's do one more. And then let's release the arms for a moment, just shake them out. Let's do alternate shoulder rolls now. So we'll start with the right shoulder. Take your shoulder up on an inhale and then back and squeeze it in as you exhale down. And let's try that with the right shoulder a few times. And so you're looking for your largest range of motion within your comfort range. You might hear a lot of snap, crackle, and pops. I do. <laughs> it's like so we shaking a can of pebbles in there, but you know, that's what happens. Our bones and our shoulder blade is riding across the ribs and then the collarbone, all those bones connecting there. All right, let's give that right shoulder a little rest and then let's do the left shoulder. See if that feels differently for you. So inhale, it floats up. Exhale, you engage and press down. So the front half is fairly free. And the back half is more activated. So letting your spine get longer on the inhale as well as the shoulder lifting and then engaging the abdominals while you draw that arm back. Let's do two more here. And then let's actually alternate them back and forth. So let's do right shoulder and then left shoulder. And then find your rhythm and your flow. What works right for you? What's the pace? And you'll begin to feel a little rotation in the spine as you incorporate one shoulder and then the other. Let's finish with that left arm and pause for a minute. And now let's do the opposite direction. So left shoulder comes forward, then right shoulder. We can, it's a little bit like doing the doggy paddle in a little swimming pool. Just a little bit of one shoulder, then the other. Finding that biggest range of motion here, just waking up all of those muscles. And then release. All right, now we'll do something really simple. Just Inhale your right arm up, look straight ahead. Just inhale it up and exhale it out to the side. And then left arm, taking it up anywhere that's comfortable and exhaling it out to the side. Here's my little cat to help us. So inhale up and exhale out to the side. Yes, baby. And inhale left arm up and out to the side. Now let's add the head. So when you inhale your right arm up, let's look up. And when you take it down to the right, let's look to the right. And then left arm, we look up. Look to the left as you pivot your torso and then push the air down on the left. Inhale the right arm up. 
Let's look to the left this time as we push the air down on the right. And then inhale, left arm up, looking up. Turn to the right and push the air down to the left. Now we'll do that again. And an option is to lift the opposite knee. But again, this is horse option. So that means when you lift your right arm, you can lift the left knee. We'll look to the left, lower the left knee and push the arm to the right. Inhale the left arm up and the right knee. Turn and look to the right and push the left arm down as you lower that leg. Let's try that one more time. So inhale the right arm and maybe the left knee. Look to the left and lower the arm and the knee. Inhale the left arm up and the right knee. Turn and look to the right and lower everything down. Now let's lift both arms. So bring your hands and just cross them in front of you so you can do a great big circle and look up. And then when you exhale, bring your chin down to your collarbone and cross your arms. And then let's do that a few times. Inhale, big reach up, looking up. And exhale, arms cross, chin down. Inhale up, let's look back a little bit. So we'll increase the range. And exhale, maybe roll down a little bit more. So just make the motions bigger now. So inhale up and maybe back. And exhale, soften the spine, look down, tuck the chin and cross the arms. Let's do that one more time. So you're beginning to feel bigger movements in the spine and beginning to activate the abdominals. And then come back to move forward. And we'll try one more thing with the arms now. So arms are by your sides. We'll do the big circle like we've done. We're going to try and clap at the top or whatever version is for you. So on an inhale, come up and clap. Turn the palms away from each other and bring it down. And let's do three times more. So inhale up. Yeah and exhale and take it down. And again, up, look up and clap. Pull the belly in as you exhale, look down and bring the arms down. So we're adding the head. So inhale, look up and clap. And then chin down and exhale and take it down. Now, just as a little side story, my first yoga teacher was 80 years old. And she hadn't been to the doctor in four years, but every day she would clap in the front and clap in the back, which is not very easy to do in the back, but she would just do that back and forth, 80 years old. And that's how she kept her shoulders open. I don't always do it because it's hard to do, but there you go. What else did she do? She did some other thing. I think it was, it was something crazy with the wrists. I don't know. She was a really interesting character. And uh, she lived to be over 100 years old. It was really interesting. But, you know, it was 1990. And so there weren't that many yoga studios. And she used to come in pantyhose with a one-piece bathing suit on top of it. <laughs> it's before there was athletic and yoga clothes. So that's what my teacher wore, is pantyhose with a one-piece bathing suit. Whoa. <laughs> any rate, OK. Let's do a little bit of cat-cow now, since we've warmed up the spine a little. So the hands will be on the thighs, the lap, someplace it can be on the sides of the chair. But we'll take the first one slow together. So the first thing we'll do is you'll move your pelvis. So you'll roll forward with your sit bones, like you're sticking your tail out the back. Then press down on your knees or your lap or the chair to lift your heart up. And then once you get that, lower your shoulders and look up at the ceiling. And this should feel like a back bend. And we can pause here for a moment, continue to breathe. You can sway a little bit side to side just to ease in that curve in the back. The next time you exhale, push the knees away, drop your chin, tuck your tail between your legs, round your back and pull your belly in, in, in and up. And then stay back here, breathe as you need to, and maybe draw little half circles with your shoulders. Again, just finding ways 
to get this posture a little bit more comfortable. Just moving in and out of it a little bit. And then finding your deeper expression of that rounded back. Now with our breath, let's take it and move it dynamically. So on an inhale, we come forward and up, deep in the lumbar curve. On the exhale, we round back and down, pulling the belly in, dropping the chin. So let's do three more like that. Maybe close your eyes so you can have a little bit more refined awareness of the motion. When our eyes are open, it takes up, they say, 70% of our awareness because we have so much information coming in through our eyes. So when we close our eyes, we can begin to feel the body from the inside out. Let's say this is the last one. Now feeling that spine really begin to feel supple. Every segment moving and then moving in all positions. And then bring it back. All right, so now that we've gotten a little bit more movement, let's just take the hands to the opposite shoulders, or they can be crossed at the chest, or they can be any place that feels comfortable. Just keep your hands sort of out of the way, more or less. And let's do our hip circles. So that means you'll come down towards your right knee, over to the left, over to the side, maybe look up and then take it to the right. And so these circles can be smaller or larger. You can go faster than me or slower. If anything feels uncomfortable, then you'll modify, make it a little smaller or just move through it a little more slowly. So you can train your body and the muscles for how to move in that particular axis, right? Because we're doing all the different angles here. Let's do one more in this direction. Uh, and then come back to center. You know, relax your arms for just a moment. Let's take a long inhale through our nostrils and then sigh it out. Let's do that again. And when you sigh it out, it's like you're letting go of a layer of just any tension around the body. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling a big sigh. All right, let's try in the other direction now. So holding on to the shoulders or crossing the arms or having the hands at your shoulders, maybe on your lap, any place that you'd like to try. We'll go to the left now and then swing over to the right, over to the right, looking up at the top, feeling the abdominal support you, shaking it back a little bit. So putting all that awareness into how your low back and your spine are reacting to this and finding your momentum, the speed at which your body likes to move, the scale of the movement, whether it's smaller or larger, and coordinating your breath. So you're exhaling as your belly comes forward across your legs and you're inhaling as you lift up and back. Let's do one more full rotation here. And then we come back. All right, let's take our hands out of the picture completely and just have them by our sides. But you'll need to lift up in your spine and engage your abdominal muscles to support your low back. Take an inhale here. And when you exhale, you're just gonna lean to the right. Let the head and neck relax. Use your inhale to bring yourself back to center. And the next exhale, we'll lean to the left. Now, each time we do it, maybe you go a little bit further. Maybe your hand touches the chair, the leg, maybe even the floor eventually, doesn't matter. Just see where your body would like to go. And then using your abdominals and your breath to bring yourself back up. So the exhale lets you deflate and go down. And then the inhale, it's like it inflates your chest and floats you back up. So let's keep this up a few times. 
Just finding your biggest range of motion here. And the body always takes a little while to acclimate. So maybe after a few, you'll find a little bit more range. But paying attention so you're not going into any discomfort. About last time to the right, and last time to the left. And then come back to center. Pause for a moment and take one of those cleansing breaths again. So big inhale through the nostrils and sign it out. Now let's take the hands. If it's comfortable, interlaced at the back of the head. If that's not comfortable, you can have the fingertips right on the sides of the neck, or you can always cross or take the arms out completely. So whatever feels right for you, try and broaden your chest. Let the collarbones move away from each other. Let your shoulder blades slide down the back. And if your elbows are up, they're as wide as they can be. So we'll do the same thing now. So take an inhale and get tall. On an exhale, Firm your belly and just take it over to the right. It'll be a smaller gesture now, maybe. Bring yourself back to center and then take it to the left. And we'll do this a few times before we add a little variation. So I like to do these lateral flexions, meaning bending to the side, because it helps us open up the rib cage, relax the muscles or stretch the muscles in between the ribs. And that allows you to breathe more deeply because your ribs enclose your lungs. So the extent to which the ribs can move and the lungs can expand. And one of the clues about all of this is to change the way you breathe. So in other words, to change the capacity of your breath, you have to change the dimensions of your upper torso. So one of the ways we do that is moving the ribs. We also do it by moving the spine, moving the shoulders, and engaging or relaxing the abdominal muscles. All right. And then after you go to the left, the next time come back to center, relax your arms for a moment, and then just take, you can close your eyes if you like, a cleansing breath, inhale through the nose, side out, Letting go of any tension, like it's just melting or floating or dissolving off of you. All right, now let's take that and we'll make it a little bit bigger now. So start with your hands where they were before. So in the front, in the back, on the sides. Inhale here. But now when you go to the right, find your version of maybe releasing the arms and reaching out. And then we'll come back to center. Big inhale here, and then exhale to the left. Inhale to center. And if both arms is a little too much, you can just drop the bottom arm. You can try that. I'll do it like that. One time each time. And bring it up. And let's do a few more then. So it looks like we're all able to reach, reach, reach. And using those abdominals to bring us back up. Big inhale and then reaching and leaning over to the left. Bringing it back up. We'll do one more time on each side. You can really feel your core muscles working. Right? Your core muscles have to engage whenever you're off balance. And so we're definitely taking ourselves intentionally off balance to get all those abdominal muscles to turn on. And then relax here. All right, we'll do a little variation of that now. So let's take the left hand to the back of the head, but we'll take the right arm out straight from the shoulder. Take an inhale here. And now we'll just go over to the left. When you come back to center, both hands at the back of the head. And when we inhale, we'll take that left arm over to the right. And let's try that a few times. 
So just all these little variations to use the muscles in slightly different ways. Coordinating our breath with the movement and moving slowly and mindfully, giving yourself plenty of time to breathe. Breathing long and big, exhaling deeply. And let's do one more on each side. So inhaling, left arm to the right. Inhaling back to the center and exhaling right arm to the left. And inhaling back to center. And then let's relax the arms again for a moment. So the spine can move forward and back. It can move side to side and it can rotate. So I always like to make sure that we get all of those movements in the spine, but let's just make sure the core is working really strong first. So sit back and if you can lean against the support behind you, but then slide your hips forward. So it's like basically we're in a little slouch if you can do that. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. So we're gonna use our core to lift ourselves up. So we'll take an inhale here and a flat back, pull the belly in, and then on an exhale, bring yourself upright. And you can even go just a little past vertical. And then the ex next exhale takes us back nice and slow. Maybe you tap the shoulders or you just go as far back as you can for your muscles to bring you forward again. So this is like a sit-up, a chair version of a sit-up. And so with our hands and our belly, we can help us engage the belly, take it back, and then use your inhale to get tall and come forward. And exhale nice and slow, take it back. And inhale, bring yourself up and forward. Let's do two more. So you might feel yourself start to get a little warmer. When we use our core muscles, it really uses warms the body up and lots of metabolism to do this. So deep muscles. So last time back and last time forward. All right. So now let's do, so my little caution about twisting is a lot of times when you go to twist, people just turn their heads and they feel like they've twisted. And it's like the head and neck are pretty, can twist pretty easily. What we're trying to do is twist right through the mid back. So this takes a lot more work to move the ribs and the spine instead of just moving the head. So arms can hold opposite elbows or you can have them in on the chest or hands on opposite shoulders. So wherever feels comfortable to you, but now the head will stay in line with the breastbone, the sternum. So you'll be looking right at your arms. Take an inhale and get tall. When you exhale, we'll do these first a little bit slowly. Turn from the lowest ribs, the middle ribs, maybe then the shoulders. When you can go as far as the shoulders and the spine can go, then you could gradually look over the right shoulder. And then use the next inhale to bring yourself back to center. So it's a lot of work all along those small muscles around the spine, at least it is for me, so I'm thinking you'll feel that. So we inhale and get tall. And then we're like, we're sliding our arms across the counter, but we're keeping our head in line with our rib cage. And so now pausing here, and if you like, you can look over the left shoulder once you've exhausted the potential for your spine to rotate and then come back to center. So sometimes I say, you can think about your spine like a spiral staircase. So inhale, and as you exhale, taking, stepping up the bottom rungs, and then the lowest ribs, the middle ribs, the chest and shoulders, and then the head. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pull the belly in as you turn from the bottom to the middle, to the upper chest, to the head and neck, and bring yourself back to center. So you might notice it's a much more complete movement. So let's do one more on each side. So inhale, get tall. Exhale, pull the navel in towards the spine as you begin to rotate, keeping your head out of it, moving the torso. And then when you're done, looking over the right shoulder, if you like. Inhale, back to center. 
And last time, pull the belly in as you exhale, lowest ribs, middle ribs, chest, shoulders, and then head and neck. And then inhale and come back to center and release. Oh, that's a lot of work right along the spine, but it's really good. I've often said rotation is the first joint action that disappears as we age. So we want to always make sure we can keep that rotational capacity for our spine. So now let's just do little baby twists. We'll do it with our breath. And if you're comfortable with your arms in cactus, try it like this. If you're not, hands can be on shoulders or on chest. All right. We'll inhale when we go to the right through the nose, and then we'll blow it out our mouth when we exhale to the left. All right, let's try 10 in this direction, and then we'll reverse it. So when you're ready, inhaling to the right and exhaling to the left. And then start to find your pattern. And when you twist, feel that elbow maybe taking you further back each time. I think this is nine and 10. And then bring it back. Pause for a moment just so you don't get dizzy and maybe to feel a little bit of that activation along the right side. <sighs> Let's try it on the left now. So hands out if that feels comfortable or any variation. And now we'll inhale when we go to the left, through the nose, and then blow it out of our mouth when we go to the right. So now let's do that 10 times. So here we go. Let's call this eight and nine and 10 and release and come back to center. And again, taking a moment so we're not dizzy. And hopefully feel a little bit of heat around the spine now. Okay. So now let's inhale the left arm up and we'll continue with the twist because we're gonna take the left hand to the right knee or the right lap or the right side, or if it doesn't reach there, holding on to the chair between the legs. If you can, holding on. And then we'll take the right arm up We'll take it over to the left. So we'll do a little thing to open up the spine and we'll come back up and bring the shoulder, shoulder height, bring the arm shoulder height, excuse me. Take another inhale and now look at your fingertips. And as you exhale, maybe press with that left hand and find a rotation to the right. We'll stay here for two or three breaths. So on the inhale, it's getting a little taller, lifting up the chest, Relaxing the shoulder blades down. And on the exhale, maybe twisting a little bit more. Trying that one more time. Noticing if you've introduced tension into the posture, can you relax the tension? And last exhale here, maybe a little further. And then inhale, bring yourself back, release your arms. So maybe a real awakening on that right side. Now we'll inhale the right arm up. And we'll take it over to the left knee, left leg, left side of the chair, or in between the chair. We'll inhale that left arm up. And first, just to get that extra length, we'll take it over to the right, let the head and neck relax. Use your inhale to bring yourself back up to vertical. Take the arm out to shoulder height. Take an inhale here and rise up. Look at your left hand, and as you exhale and pull the belly in, rotate, taking it back to any degree, keeping your eyes glued onto the fingertips this time. Now again, on the inhale, find the vertical, verticality of your spine. So the crown of your head is still right over your heart, over your hips. On the inhale, we're lifting the chest and relaxing the shoulders down. And on the exhale, maybe we're twisting a little more. We'll take another full breath here, expanding the rib cage. 
And on the exhale, drawing the belly in. And then exhale, bring it back. And relax your arms for a moment. All right. Let's try something that's called surfer. And so we'll do it a little slow at first, and then we'll do a little bit of a quicker version of it. So arms will be out shoulder height, if that feels okay. Again, if that doesn't, hands could be on waist, all right? Let's reach over to the right and look to the right. So you're leaning as far as you can to the right. Now stay here, but turn your head to the left. When you inhale, reach way over to the left and rock your body over. Stay here, but turn your head to the right. And then on your inhale, take it way over to the right. So we're moving purposely. Turn your head to the left. Use your inhale to reach way over to the left. Turn your head to the right. And then reach way over to the right. Turn your head to the left. Inhale, reach way over to the left. Turn your head to the right. And last time, reach way over to the right. Turn your head to the left and reach way over to the left. Turn your head to the right and then just come back to center and give your arms a little break. You can shake your arms out if there's a little fatigue in there. Now let's do a little twist again. We'll go back to our twist. So arms will be shoulder height, if that feels all right. And elbows can be soft. You can always turn the palms up and bend the elbows if having the arms out is tiring. So on an inhale, we'll get tall. Lock your eyes onto your right fingertips. And on an exhale, let's just take it out for the length of the breath. And use your inhale right away to come back to center. The next exhale takes the left hand up, I mean, out to the side and twist, reach behind you, and then inhale, bring that arm back to center. Let's do that two more times. To the right with our breath, exhaling. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left hand goes to the left, twist. And inhale, float back. And one more time. Right hand to the right. Inhale, back to center. Left hand to the left. And inhale, back to center. And relax those arms. We'll do the abdominals that we did before, but this time we'll add an option to lift alternate knees. So we started out by sitting back in our chair so the shoulders could make contact and then we slid the hips forward. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Take an inhale here, neck is an extension of the spine. And when you exhale, you'll use your abdominals to bring yourself forward. Now when you inhale and go back, option to lift the right knee. Exhale, bring yourself forward. A little bit past vertical. And when you inhale, option to lift the left knee and take it back. Inhale as you lower that knee and come forward. Exhale, option to lift the right knee and take it back. Inhale, if the knee is lifted, you slowly lower it. And Exhale, take it back, lift the left knee. And inhale, bring it forward. Let's do it one more time on each side. So right knee floats up, maybe. And everybody, we float back. And then inhale, we come forward. Exhale, the left knee floats up. And we take it back slowly. And then inhale, bring it up. And lower that knee. All right, let's do a little something for the head and neck now. So you'll either hold your wrist behind your back or your forearms, or maybe oh, some of you can get a little bit closer to the elbow. 
So either way, it helps you find just a little bit of a deeper lumbar curve in your spine. So on an inhale, drop your tailbone and lift your chest up and roll your shoulders back and down. When you exhale, let's try taking right ear towards right shoulder. It'll be a small movement, but you feel some lengthening on the left side of the neck. And then inhale your head to center and exhale left ear to left shoulder. Long exhale, letting everything soften, imagining the shoulder blades sliding down the back. Inhale and get tall, lift the chest, the heart. And when you exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Let especially that left shoulder relax and slide down your back. Inhale to center. We'll take it to the left. Notice if one side feels a little easier to do than the other. And we'll do it one more time with a little variation. So inhale up. And this time when you take it to the right, shake your head no back and forth a few times. So chin comes towards the collarbone and then up towards the ceiling. And just find the arc that's comfortable for you to move in. Just nodding up and down. All right. And then inhale yourself back to center. And we'll take left ear to left shoulder. And then find a little nod. So looking down, looking up, if that feels all right. If it doesn't, you can try just drawing the chin in towards the collarbone or even drawing a little circle with your chin. That's another option. So just see what little bit of movement of the head and neck can help you find a little bit more release inside of the neck. And then inhale yourself back to center and release. All right, we'll do one more little core exercise here. So we'll start with the hands behind the head or on the shoulders or at the front of the shoulders, whatever feels right for you. So sit a little bit further so you can lean back. So on an inhale, Get tall and on your exhale, just take it back as well far as you can with control. The next time you exhale, come forward, bring your elbows down, shin to collarbone and roll about halfway down. So your spine is rounded. You might be looking at your navel or your chest. With your next inhale, Keep leaning forward, but now lengthen through the spine. So it's like a big diagonal. And then you'll inhale yourself back to vertical. All right, next time you exhale, we'll take it back, long back of the neck, controlling the abdominals. And then we'll exhale next time and round down, curling the upper back, bringing the chin to the collarbone, and pulling the belly in, dropping the elbows a little. Then inhale, lengthen through the spine like you're looking out on the floor in front of you. And then inhale, bring yourself up to vertical. So it's just four small movements, moving the spine, coordinating it with the breath. So we'll exhale and lean back. Might be a small movement, take a breath here, inhale. And then when you Exhale, bring yourself forward, round down. Let your elbows come a little closer to each other, not pulling on the head. Pull the belly in. The next time you inhale, lengthen through your spine and diagonally reach out like you're looking a couple feet in front of you on the floor. And then inhale, bring yourself back to vertical. Let's try it one more time. So exhale, take yourself back. Inhale here. Exhale, round your back and roll halfway down. Forward, draw the elbows together, chin to the collar. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, look out in front of you. 
And imagine this is all core work now. And then inhale, bring yourself up to vertical. Now let's do a little cat cow while we're here with your hands wherever they are. Right? So on an inhale, just look up, take the elbows wide, lift the chest. On the exhale, round the back like you did, bring the elbows in, take the chin to the collarbones. And now we'll just go back and forth between these two positions. So now we're emphasizing extension and flexion of the upper back. So we're looking up. We're exhaling, rounding the upper back and drawing down and in. Let's just do that a few times. So inhale up and exhale down, curl in. Inhale up and expand like you have a big wing spin. And last time, exhale, curl it down and in. And then release your arm. All right, we have one more thing we can do, time-wise. Maybe wag your shoulders a little bit, take a cleansing breath again, inhale through the nose, and sigh it out. All right, interlace your fingers. Then take your index fingers long, so like, you know, pointing now like a steeple. Bring your hands onto the top of your head. Take an inhale here. When you exhale, let's reach out to the right and lengthen through the arms to any degree. When you inhale, come back to center. Give your arms a little break, put your hands on your head. And then when you exhale, reaching out into the left. And then bringing it back to inhale, giving those arms a little rest. And exhale over to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the left, reaching out. And do one more time on each side. Bring it back to center. Glide over to the right to any degree. Feel the abdominals contracting, supporting your low back. Inhale, back to center. Shoulder girdle working as you exhale and take it to the left. Reach, reach, reach. And then inhale, back to center. Lower your hands. Close your eyes. Take a big breath through your nostrils. And then sigh it all out. <sighs> Letting all the tension dissolve from your body. Lower your chin, keep the eyes closed, just witness the breath on an inhale, feeling the lungs lift and expand. And on the exhale, feeling the lungs deflate and relax. Recognizing that every breath is the gift of life. And bringing your hands together in front of your heart, lowering your chin. With each inhale, cultivate a sense of gratitude, thankful for the next breath, thankful for sustaining your life, thankful for each other practicing together. On the exhales, can you cultivate a sense of acceptance that everything is as it should be? So creating peace by expressing gratitude on an inhale and acceptance on an exhale. Gratitude for this present moment. Acceptance of this present moment. Feeling a sense of spaciousness inside. Sending out into the world the message, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may my words, deeds, and actions contribute to the well-being and the happiness of beings everywhere. Namaste.